Air pollution is a big problem here in Manchester. Every year, 1,200 deaths are contributed to by air pollution. That's 24 a week here in Manchester. About 80% of this is thought to be related to traffic fumes. So today on my cycle to work, I'm going to measure the air quality with this air quality monitor so we can see where the problems are. This is the Fallowfield Loop. Uh, me and my family use this every day. It's a great resource for the people of Manchester and has been brilliant during lockdown. Um, so the reading here is high. The air quality index is 80. Anything above 50 is, is not good. Um, that's unexpected. I thought that it would be lower than that on this green corridor through South Manchester. Um, let's carry on. So I'm up here on Princess Parkway, very busy road. The uh, air quality index has shot up to 94. The thing that's really concerning me is that the nitrogen dioxide has also gone up to 94. Um, that's been produced by all these car fumes and is particularly irritant to people with things like asthma and COPD. This is Withington Road, I've come off the loop now. The measurement here is 95, so again, not good. And it's gone up again on the nitrogen dioxide, 95 again. So now I'm outside St. Margaret's School. This is one of the local schools to my surgery. I've probably seen some of these children in the clinic. Um, the pollution level here right now is 101. So that is in the very high, dangerous region. Prolonged exposure to this, or even a short exposure to this, is not good for the children's lungs as they're developing. And the nitrogen dioxide level's gone up to 102, which is a bit scary. As you can see, um, it's just missed the drop-off time, so probably we're at our peak time for, for emissions in this area. New research by Queen Mary University of London has shown that 60% of the pollution that children take into their lungs every day is during the school run. So we need to make some better choices. So I'm at work now, uh, ready to start the day. Um, I can see that on my list of patients there are a couple of asthmas a couple of people with medication queries for problems like stroke, one possible chest infection. And these are all things that have been contributed to by the air pollution in this area. I get it, like it's really difficult to change your pattern, change your behaviour, but I feel like this is really important. And this isn't something that uh, we can't change, that we can do nothing about. We, we can do something about it. The government's instructed Manchester to do something about it and they're working on ways to improve cycling networks and reduce people driving. But there's a lot more the government could do. What I'm asking is what can, what can we do, what can you do? So um, things that, that anybody can do is re reduce your driving. If you can, um, and this is not a choice that everyone can make, try and get an electric car the next time you, you, you buy a new car and try and cycle or, or walk to work and school. The thing that you, could, you can do immediately is stop idling your car. So if you're parked up outside a school particularly, please switch off your engine because you're just releasing more and more gases into the, into the air.